Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, one inch aerial shell um, that you'll just be shooting out of a commercial um, one inch mortar like this or um, even PVC tube will work. Um, what you're going to need for this is um, the Hemis, I'm using plastic Hemis. You can also use um, crackling ball cases. I'm actually going to use these because they fit in my tube better. These are 7 and seven eighths inch. These are about, well, pretty much 1 inch. So, um, yeah, they'll, they fit better with the pasting. This is what your finished product will look like. Um, I'm going to have a quick, a quick fuse leader on it. And um, as you can see, they fit nicely into the tube. Um, so, yeah. Here's what you're going to need. So we have our casings. You're going to need electrical tape. I'm using 4F black powder for um, 4FG black powder for the lift and the brake. You're going to need Visco fuse. I just made a little roll of it so I can use it in a little kit that I bring around. Um, I'm going to need those. I'm using Titanium Sparkler Stars. Um, and you're going to need hot glue also. And I think that's it. Yep. Alright, so let's begin. First, we're going to get a hemi. Well, two halves. You get a color. We'll use yellow. Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to get the one without a hole and one with a hole. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a oh that's hot. <laughs> you're going to take a razor blade and you're going to cut about a 2 inch piece of visco fuse as I have here. Then you can either take um the electrical tape. I like to use masking tape usually, but I forgot to bring that out. So um we're just going to use this and take a piece about an inch and a half or two inches long. So once you have this, you're just going to wrap the fuse about quarter inch to half inch from the top of it. And this is going to act as your time fuse. Alright, so that's what you should have. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the hem the half of the crackling ball shell and you're going to take a razor blade or like scissors or something and you're going to put it in the um, fuse hole and just twist it until it makes it big enough so this will fit like that. So it should have a snug fit. And then what you're also going to want to do, I'm going to have to have scissors for this, hold on. Sorry about that. You're going to want to cut the fuse so only about an eighth of an inch is over it. So it was like that before. And once you cut it, it should be about that. So I've had my hot glue gun ready. What you're going to do is take a small bead around the outside of the fuse right along here. Just like that, you can wet your finger and clean it up a little bit. Alright, so it should look like that. Then what you're going to want to do is on the inside of it, take it and make a puddle of hot glue around the time fuse in the bottom. So it should look like that, if you can see that. Um, so 
just give this like a minute just to cool and harden. Um, what I usually do, if you have these or if you take like a board and drill like a um, 1 8 inch hole in it, but you just put the time fuse, well the visco in this and it sort of holds it so while it dries. So what you're going to do is I have these titanium sparkler stars that I made. I pumped them with a syringe. Like I just cut off the end of the syringe. Like I think I used a yeah five milliliter syringe, and I just cut off the nozzle and I pumped the stars with that. Um, so this is what I did, and what I do I just take a razor blade and I'll split them into like quarters or eighths or something, or I'll take the quarters and cut them in half, so it makes stars that'll fit in the shell. So that should be good like that. One should be about all that you need for one shell. I use the other stars in bigger shells like this. This is a um, titanium sparkler star. It's my own composition. That's a 1.75 inch shell. So what you're going to do is, well, that's almost dry. Um, yeah, so where's my black powder? There we go. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take your black powder. You only need a little bit. And then and there's my black powder, 4FG black powder. And all that you need is just that little bit. Like that. Probably like a quarter of an inch in, or one eighth of an inch in the bottom of the shell. And you're just going to take your stars and just put a few in there. And I'll add a little bit more black powder. Alright, so this should be pretty dry by now. Or, like, cooled. So, just fill. Well, you take this and dump it in so it fills evenly around the time fuse it doesn't matter if a little bit spills out but try to keep most of it in um, and then just close it up like that so there's like your almost finished shell then what you're gonna do is take about a three inch long piece of masking tape it's a little bit longer than three inches but it doesn't really matter hold the shell like this so you can Put the tape around this. Um, put the tape around where the shells close together, and stretch the tape a lot so it holds it really tightly. And then um, take another piece of three-inch masking tape and um, just keep on doing this. You're going to need five pieces of tape for each paste like layer of pasting. You can do this with masking tape. I just usually cut the masking tape in half. Um, I usually use masking tape. I don't know which makes a better break. But um, um, electrical tape, it tends to stretch and it might just break in one spot and let it all out. Like, let um all of the uh, stars escape from just like one side of it so it might not give like an even break but it works well for salutes um, I made a one inch titanium salute earlier so I'll just get this done fast
try and do this as fast as I can. Sorry about this, I don't have video editing software yet. Alright, well, I'll just do one layer on this one. It should be good enough. Um, then what you're going to want to do, you're going to cut down the fuse so it's about a quarter inch out of the top of the shell like that. Actually a little bit less than that probably. About that, maybe a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Then you're going to take a really sharp razor blade and split the fuse all the way down to the hot glue so it's like that. And then what you're going to want to do is um, take a corner of a plastic bag, I'll just use this one, and cut off a corner of it, about two inches from the corner on either side. So you wind up with something like this. And then take your lift charge. I'm going to use maybe about... I don't know, a gram maybe of black powder. Try not to use too much. 4F burns way faster than other black powder. It's used for um, the flash pans and muzzle loaders and stuff. So you have about a corner, corner of a bag like that. This is it compared to the shell. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is twist it twist the top of it, make sure all the black powder is in the bottom and then you're going to cut about half an inch from where the black powder meets the twist in the bag so it should look like that and then undo it undo the bag and if it looks like there's a lot you can cut off more I'm going to need to cut off some more of this That looks about good. Alright. And then take a about four inch piece of mass or electrical tape. And just set that aside for a second. Take your shell, put it in the bag, and put the bag around the shell. Then take your masking tape and wrap it around the shell and the bag so it looks like that. Then just take pieces of masking tape. You're going to need about three of them, three or four pieces for this. And actually before you do that, Put your uh, put your fuse in so to light it. I'm just gonna use a piece of quick fuse and I'm just gonna put um, a piece of visco on the top of it later. Just cut a little hole in the bag <clears throat> and um, insert your fuse like that, and then just wrap tape around that part and try to keep it all stretched like like that. And then what you're going to do is take about an inch and a half long piece, put it like that, and make like an X over the bottom of the shell. So you're going to need two for that. And it just makes it look nicer so you don't have like a just like plastic all over it so should look like that this one's a little screwed up because of the plastic bag on the other ones I used a better plastic bag so it's not all like as lumpy and everything um, <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And then just take uh, another piece and wrap it all the way around this and stretch it as much as you can. So it's like that. And that's pretty much your finished shell. Um, you can clean it up, you can put more tape where some of the plastic bag is showing. Um, and then just put it in your mortar tube. Um, remember, remember to label it though. I always do that. I keep all mine labeled. This is a titanium sparkler. This is uh, another titanium sparkler with some color stars. Um, this is a titanium salute. Uh, so, yeah. And that's pretty much your finished shell. Um, and then just take a piece of green visco. Cut a few inches. Take another piece of um, tape. Don't need that much. And just tape it to your leader. And that's it. And there you have your finished one inch artillery shell. There you go. And be safe.